Hello and welcome to a further AnyNode tutorial. Sit back and watch and we will tell you how to connect the XCopy to a Microsoft Lynx server using an AnyNode. We have both software installed on the same computer. In this constellation, AnyNode has to ensure that the RTP data goes directly to a switching operation of the XCopy from terminal to terminal after a switching operation. Without the AnyNode, the XCopy can only make a simulated switching on the Lynx server because it does not support a true switching or refer. We have already prepared a virtual machine. We begin with the XCopy configuration and start the controller wizard. Here we select PBX or VoIP system. Then localhost or loopback pseudo interface. And we choose any node on localhost for the VoIP environment and decide how many channels should be available for the applications. We are done. We don't install a new license initially because the license that is already set works for four lines and that's enough for us. We finish the XCopy configuration and start the AnyNode front end. We get a note that we have no license installed immediately. AnyNote runs unlicensed in a limited edition. Although we supply a demo license for four lines, it does not support the pass-through mode of the media data. Therefore, we need to install a normal extra license. We have already prepared an LOD key here. Now the license is requested from the license server and installed instantly. This takes a moment and then we are done. Then we can start with the correct configuration. With a click on Wizard, the Scenario Wizard will open. Here we choose the right scenario now. In this case, we take a VoIP, PBX and Link system because the XCopy is seen here as VoIP, PBX or Gateway. We start with the configuration of the Microsoft Lynx server. We select a network card, here the Hyper-V. We can also select the IP address here. The port 5090 is pre-installed here. This is the port where the Microsoft Lynx server can reach us. In the configuration on the Lynx server, we have already said that we can be found at 5090. There we have a PSTN gateway configured with the appropriate trunk settings. Here we need to enter the address of the Lynx server, unless we have already deposited everything in the DNS here. Now we can take the upper field here and the Lynx server can be found at the DNS address. We don't need incoming manipulation and outgoing for now. The display name field contains only the name that is displayed in the configuration. And then we are already finished. 
we can check this once again here. In the menu Voice over IP system, we have to choose the XCAPI from this list. Other settings are not required. We then remove the local host from the name of your choice and have finished. We choose Use Direct Routing in the menu Item Routing. Everything that comes from the XCAPI should go to LUNC and vice versa. Already done! Now we have two new nodes, namely the Microsoft LUNC node and the XCAPI node. These have been linked together here in the routing domain. That is what the wizard has just done. Everything that comes from the source node XCAPI goes to the Microsoft LUNC server and everything that comes from the LUNC server goes to the XCAPI. We need to make another adjustment to ensure that the switching and the pass-through works. We go here on Establishment and configure a routing forward profile here. By default, you could select a profile here, but there's none there. So we create one and give the instruction that the media should pass through past us. We are done now. We provide the same profile now also in the second direction. We choose the same again. In the root summary, we can control that. Now we only have to create under detailed settings a path replacement route here. Therefore we select disabled filter. Because we always want to do this, we go to replace call. Here we select the routing forward profile that we also have at other routes and are ready. We do not install a name at this point. This is now the important thing. If that's not listed here, loops will arise due to not triggered routes during a switching command from the XCOPY. We confirm the entries with commit. Then we go into the monitor mode. We start the test program XTest from our middleware XCAPI and make a test call to a phone number in LUNC. The LUNC client already appears down here and displays the incoming call. But we hang up again. We enlarge our view now. We make a call from outside and accept it. Then we make a second call from outside, accept it as well and then go to supplementary services here and switch the two calls. We see the two calls there very well. The switching comes now and the two calls are disconnected. There is one call now and RTP data no longer goes through our server now, but from terminal to terminal. We are now at the end of our video tutorial. Please visit us on our homepage.